Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwarfs Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we're reviewing the 1991 Wizardry Anime OVA for Fantasy Month. Um, I watched this a while ago. I'm a huge fan of um, RPGs and JRPGs. Um, as I get older, I'm more of a fan of uh, like Western RPGs, but I, I still love JRPGs, right? And I still like um, I still make sure to, to be as me- as many uh, JRPGs that I do Western RPGs. Um, this is based off the CRPG Wizardry, the Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. Um, the story for that is basically it's in a fantasy world where like. A uh, wizard stole the amulet of um, the king, and because of that, the land is under attack by evil. Uh, he hides himself on the tenth floor of this underground dungeon, and adventurers go down um, to uh, uh, beat, <laughs> defeat monsters, and steal loot, and try to make their way down to the tenth floor. So this is directed by. Uh, Noriyuki Fukuda. Um, it stars Fru. Fru uh, sorry. Uh, they do the thing here where they they show last name first, first name second. Um, so I'm I have to reverse it. You have Toshia Furuka as Shin, the warrior. Tessio Genda as Hawkwind. He's like a ninja. Um, Keiichi Manba as Alex. Um, Kate, uh, Alex, I, f- he does magic, but I think he dresses like a warrior, so I think he's supposed to be a lord. A uh, lord is one of the classes where, in, um, wizardry, where it's like a mix between fighter and sorcerer. Um, you have Kenji Utsuma as Verna, who's the evil wizard. Uh, Keiko Toda as Sheila, she's like an elf sorceress that the party meets. The main party being Shin, Alex, and Hawkwind. They meet these two um, sorcerers. One, Josa, who's this, like, uh, I think he's supposed to be elf, but it's not, like, he's pretty short. Um, he's voiced by Ichiro Nagai. And uh, him and his apprentice, Albert, who I think he's supposed to be, like, a halfling. I'm not fucking sure what the fuck the... Do they have hobbits in... Uh... No, they have halflings in Wizardry. I thing about Wizardry is like I tried to play the old games. They're super hard. I'm more of a fan of the Japanese Wizardry games, like th- that are available for like PC, PS2, PS3. Um, my favorite so far is um, one I got last year for PlayStation 2 for Christmas. Wizardry, Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land, which is fucking awesome. It came uh, Atlas put out. Um, so what happens is you got these three party, uh, sorry, these three party members that are just, they're not interested in saving the world, they're just, um, uh, they're, uh, dungeon crawling just for, to make money, but they meet, uh, Joza and Albert, um, Albert, be, like, the apprentice of Joza, um, on the ninth floor, and they decide to, uh, party together all the way to the tenth floor, uh, Joza has an old score, with Verna, that they, uh, they used to work together, but now Josa is committed himself to this mission of recovering the amulet from Verna. On their way, they meet the the elf sorceress Sheila, who's there to um, save her boyfriend Randy, who um, recovered the Muramasa blade, which is a legendary weapon in wizardry. Uh, he turns out to be under the control of Verna and the vampire lord who's voiced by Yukimasa Kushino and like one of the other enemies working for the Verna is Frack, Flack, voiced by Rusei Nakao who's like this je- this evil jester uh, monster who can turn people to stone. So the anime, it has a very simple story, but I, I don't know, as a fan of JRPGs and Western RPGs, I love this anime. The art style, it has that classic, you know, uh, fantasy art style like you would see in like, you know, the old Yeast games. Uh, Yeast as in YS. How the fuck you pronounce that, I don't know. I hear people say um, you're supposed to pronounce that as East. 
like the like the direction, but I don't fucking know. And like you know, record Lotus score, which I I would love to review that again, but it's like I don't really have time to watch anime. That that's not like you know, I don't have time to watch anime series <laughs> uh, nowadays, especially since I'm reading Name of the Wind, which I'm gonna review uh, probably in the next seven days. I'll have it finished. So I I really like this anime. It has it's rated R. There's like there's no nudity, but there's profanity and like ultra violence. At one point, like um, you see like corpses, adventurers, and their like eyes are missing. Their their fucking uh, guts are out. One of the main characters loses his arm, uh, but then with a healing spell is put back on, <laughs> which I thought was like a little fucking weird. But then again, um, they if you can return the remains of like uh ventures to the temple they can bring them back to life <laughs> right so that's um if the sorcerers are talented enough it's like a it's a luck thing right so i i really like this anime uh it's really old obviously but to me like ovas are great because they um they're short and sweet because they tend to have um, since they're so short, they can use most of the budget on the animation, which the animation looks great. The art style could be a little bit better, but I'm a fan of the art style. Though I thought the girl in the anime looks a little ugly. <laughs> but, like, who, uh, who gives a shit? If you're a fan of, of fantasy games, and you're a fan of anime, you'll definitely love this. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Why the fuck it only has, like, a 5.82... On fucking my anime list is disgraceful. This fucking anime is awesome. Uh, yeah. So that's all I have to say. Um, I'm gonna do two uh, videos tomorrow. Besides from my fantasy month review, I picked up some Blu-rays and I picked up some books. Unfortunately, I couldn't find. Um, well, that, that's not true. Um, well, actually, I couldn't find. Um, Juju Kaisen, which I said I was gonna review that. They didn't have volume one. They had volume three, but they didn't have volume one. So I'm gonna, I might at some point I might just say fuck it, and this like review it, like just read the scanlation like copy, which is like I spend so much fucking money on the manga industry. Like, can I get one free pass, please? And I couldn't find the Earth C. Actually, I could find the Earth C novels, but the problem is. They, it was, they didn't have the individual Earthsea com, uh, sorry, uh, books. They had one big ass omnibus and it was like 80 bucks. Keep in mind, it was like a five novel series. And like novels, like nowadays are what, like 10 bucks each? So if you do the math, like 80 bucks does not seem fucking worth it. Especially since I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Cause I don't even, uh, the movie, the anime movie is good, but like I don't like the story and all that wasn't exactly the best part of the of the movie. The best part was the animation and the art and all the, the settings and shit. Uh, the you know the background, not the fucking story and characters itself. So it's like, I, do I want to spend like eighty bucks on that? Fuck that. Um, so yeah, look forward to tomorrow's um, videos, and I'm gonna review uh, Ridley Scott's Legend. Uh, which came out in the 80s. It's like a fantasy movie that's famous for having um, Timothy, uh, Tim Curry as the Satan figure. And people say that um, uh, Tom Cruise's character is supposed to be based off... Sorry, was um, based off Link from um, Legend of Zelda. Which, honestly, I don't really see... I When I saw that movie I, the first time around, I didn't really see any resemblance. But, like, who knows, right? Alright, peace.